Hi everyone and welcome back to another FreeCAD 1.1 update video. So if we look at the light source settings between the two versions, version one on the left and version 1.1 on the right, you see there are additional options in 1.1. We have the main light, the backlight and the fill light. And these enhance the 3D view, allowing for a better look when modeling. So we've got the fill light, the backlight and the main light where before we only had one light source. We can change the colors as well, and also the intensity. The angle is controlled by horizontal and vertical angles across the three light sources. If we compare this side by side to what we see in the 3D view, on the left 1.0, you can see we have out of the box our usual lighting, where if we look at 1.1 out of the box, we have a much more cleaner look. Two new properties have been added to sketches that will help you visualize the attachment and the plane that the geometry is sketched upon. In version 1.1, these can be accessed from the view tab. Within here, under display options, you'll find two properties, one saying show placement and one saying show plane. If we enable the show placement and set that to true, we get a local coordinate system that's been added to the sketch. We can see Y runs this direction, Z runs this direction, and X runs this way. This helps when we're changing the offset, whether it's placement or attachment. So let's come over to the data view and look at the attachment offset. Because this is attached to a face, we can see that the map mode is flat face here. Let's just pull this in so we've got some space. And we come into the attachment offset because it's attached and the position. Notice the Z is zero. Z is running this way. If we change this, we can now visualize where the Z is. This makes our attachment a lot easier to modify and to understand those different attachment modes. The other option is if we come over to the view, we have the show plane. And if we enable this, set this to true, we get a plane that shows where the sketch is attached to. We can see the plane, because I've offset it from the face, isn't sitting on that face at the moment. Whereas in 1.0, we don't have those options on the view tab. There's quite a useful addition to the constraints that's been added in version 1.1. Before in 1.0, if we selected a constraint from the 3D view, it would highlight on the left. But if those constraints were outside the scroll area, then we would have to scroll to them and find them in the panel. In 1.1, the constraint is automatically scrolled to. We can see both of them have been selected there. And we can select, and the constraint will be automatically scrolled to and highlighted in the panel. If you watched my past video on version 1.1 and the sketch enhancements, then you would see when we created a new sketch and then pulled in the external geometry using the import geometry tool and hit close. That sketch, if I click on the pad and press the space bar, the external geometry would appear as normal sketch geometry, which can be used in operations. Let's just bring back the pad and double click on the sketch and delete that geometry. Depending on the mode, if I toggle to construction geometry and then imported the edges, we can see those have imported as construction. So when we close, if I press the space bar on the pad to hide it, we can see that's not in there. This means a diversion of the current workflow. And FreeCAD developers have seen that and decided that should be available from the preferences on the sketcher, on the general, and the option always add external geometry as reference can now be selected. This maintains the current workflow that everybody is used to. When creating sketches in the part design, we create a new body and then create a sketch. And then we pick the planes that we want to create the sketch upon. For instance, the XY plane. 
any new features and sketches that we create. For instance, let's pad a simple rectangle. The default options we have are flat face or attached to the base plane, where we get the planes appear on the left-hand side here, or we can select them from the 3D view. If we did this over in the part workbench, we have more options. If I take this point and this edge, control select them and create a sketch, it'll ask me for a different attachment mode and I can select which one I want. There has been some developments to allow that in part design. At the moment, it's not surfaced, but here's a quick preview of that in action. I'm back in the part design and I've enabled that option via the code. So now when I create a new sketch, I get the attachment modes appear on the left-hand side. So I can select the different attachment modes and attach a sketch according to that attachment mode. So I've attached this sketch normal to edge of this rectangle. Obviously there's a lot more work to do. You would notice when I use that attachment mode, the planes didn't move. Normally in the sketcher, we would have to create the sketch first on one of the base planes and then change the attachment mode afterwards. With this workflow, you have a direct way of attaching the sketch, the same as the part workbench. Another addition is a new navigation style. We have SolidWorks. So now you can feel more at home when transitioning from SolidWorks to FreeCAD. So there's an update of a number of features that are available in FreeCAD 1.1. And if you want to know more about the features, I have another video for the sketcher and also a video regarding the new transform tool. Worth having a look at those to gain more of an insight of what's going to be available in the future. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.